Clark, um, you know, we competed really well today. I was really pleased uh, with our guys and how they flew around on both sides of the ball. I thought the defense made some, made some plays and, uh, and early on to put us behind the chains first couple of series and then the offense got a little rhythm. Uh, and it kind of went back and forth. And that's kind of, you know, as the head coach, that's what you want. You want to see good on both sides, which I thought we did. Uh, the big thing for us is uh, I think we need to figure you know, the best improvement that we can make will be from scrimmage one to scrimmage two, I'm hoping. And that's what we're, that's what we're shooting for. But uh, it was really good to see a lot of guys out there in game situations. In terms of quarterback play, what did you like? What were you, what didn't you like? You know, uh, it's, it's going to be, I need to watch the film probably to remember who was doing what, but because we're rolling pretty fast. But I thought, you know, for the most part, I think Sawyer took care of the ball, which I thought was really good. He made a few plays. Um, you know, I thought Gunner, Gunner did some nice things uh, early. You know, I think as a group, that unit is making progress. I think the big thing for us is we can't hold the ball. You know, we're holding the ball too long. The ball's got to come out of your hand, and for that to happen, they got to know exactly where they're going with it. And uh, so there's some things I think we got to clean up from that standpoint. But uh, I think they're all making really good progress. Coach, speaking of quarterbacks, what is the status of Caleb Barker? Now, obviously, he's having a good season last year until he went, went mm -hmm. down against Georgia yeah. State. Uh, what, what is he looking like? Yeah, he's doing great. We're, we're limiting him this spring to 707, seven, but he's doing great. Um, I think uh, I think he's uh, during 707. Seven, you can see flashes. He's in he's in good shape right now. I think he's uh, holding up well physically, and uh, you know just gonna get him to the fall camp for him, get him in some team situations. Do you think there's gonna be a quarterback battle come the fall? Oh yeah, we, there's a battle at every position. I mean, and I think that's why we try to you know make a make sure that we make a, uh, a, an effort to make sure that every position every day has to compete. We, that's why we mess with the depth chart and change it each day depending on the performance of the practice before. But, you know, we feel like we got, you know, two guys that we know have played a lot here and uh, made plays in one game. So it's a good feeling to have. You know, I really believe it's uh, back and forth. I mean, I, there's, there's times the offense look good and there's times the defense really look good. I know they had a – a couple times it got us behind the change, you know, and you know how it is. You're, you're staying off the quarterback, so you're trying to be fair to both sides. Was it a sack? Was it not a sack? But at the end of the day, I thought both sides showed some good things, and both sides probably a lot of things that we got to clean up, and uh, I thought it was a pretty even scrimmage. So just leading up to today, is yeah. this kind of what you expected from your team, given what you've seen in all these practices? Yeah, I think so. I mean, you know, really wasn't a whole lot of game plan. We were just running uh, base plays that we've been running all spring. And uh, really pleased with uh, with getting through the scrimmage and, and getting some good film in, in uh, game situations. That way, we can really evaluate the guys more.